So weird fact about me, when I was a kid, I used to collect bugs. And for some reason, I used to collect dead monarch butterflies, which would have actually come in handy for today's project. <laughs> hey, I'm Janelle, and this is to DIY for. So if you're new to my channel, I do new DIYs every single Wednesday. Would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss a video, and I try and keep things very budget friendly and um, beginner friendly as well. Today is a piece of decor that I made specifically with mostly dollar store items. I think it's a really delicate piece. It's beautiful, and uh, like I said, cheap. So we're going to be using these butterflies that I found at the uh, Dollarama and Dollar Tree specifically. They have a realistic quality to them because they're made out of feathers. So well, let's just get into it. Okay, so these are the butterflies. They come in two per package. I was able to get um, some slightly different variants and colors and shapes and sizes, but I'm gonna show you how I adjust those later. I also have these little gold beads and then just an old large frame. So I'm gonna sand this down because I'm going to adjust this frame as well and give it an antiqued look. Just taking it all apart here in the back. And then what I'm going to use are these little gold beads, again, from the dollar store. They've got this plastic adhesive, as you can see on the back there, but I'm pulling them off of the adhesive because if you keep them all, they are all, all gonna go in a big line like that because they're all attached and I want them further apart. Also, the adhesive isn't very good and they would totally just chip and fall off of this. So I'm doing little tiny daubs of hot glue and gluing them each individually down to give a new look. So I spray painted this completely gold and then to kind of give it that antiqued look, I took some black acrylic paint with an old toothbrush and I'm kind of rubbing it into some of the crevices and a across this entire frame. And then you just go ahead and wipe majority of that black stuff off, kind of really work it into the corners and the creases. Um, and it gives this really cool kind of uh, antiqued metal look. I think it looks more like metal than it does wood now. So here's what I did with the butterflies. I've given this a new shape, as you can see on the right hand side. And these are feathers, so they're really easy to clip and adjust. And I would just say kind of follow along with the color patterns so these two came in the same pack and now they look a little more different all these other really bright and colorful ones are all the exact same size so I did cut them down to try and give them a little bit of a different look just because I wanted some more variance in this little grouping that I'm putting together so I just simply hot glued them down to a piece of like white paper I'm popping back in the uh, glass part of the frame. I've pit, put down a few of those uh, pieces to kind of hold it into place. And then the cardboard goes back in on top. Now, normally that's where you would close everything up, but because the butterflies kind of stick out, we're making this kind of like a mock shadow box. All I did was take a piece of poster board, cut it down to size, and then I stapled it to the back. So that allows for, you know, uh, depending on the frame, uh, a couple of centimeters, maybe like half an inch of room for those butterflies to kind of be in a mock shadow box that we've created here. So I think this looks really beautiful and I love how it turned out, but let me know what you think of the frame effect and the idea of this and be sure to subscribe. I'll be back next Wednesday with a new DIY. Cheers.